Hi everyone, good evening. My name is Anthony. Um, tonight I'm going to introduce to you what is up. I used to work in investment banking and I used to get a lot of emails, like almost like a thousand a day. And there are definitely, as, as you can imagine, with that kind of volume, definitely I will have this one or two. And those clients will probably won't be too happy about that. And if they're not too happy, they will be uh, calling my boss, and my boss won't be too happy. And that's how you want to talk. Not too happy, right? And, uh, and, then, and then I started to think about is that only my problem, or, or that actually a lot of people have the same problem too? And then I started to Google a little bit, and then I found out that actually I'm not the only one. And on average, a, use, a business user will get around like 110 uh, emails a day, and it's going to increase to 140 by 2018. And we are on average spending two and a half hours every day to, to process all your emails. And you know, two and a half hours is, is more than 10% of the time. I, I didn't have two and a half hours for my total. So that, that's really a, a good problem to solve, right? And I started with some research, and I found there are three main problems for emails and others. So definitely one of them is email overflow. It's our thing to everyone. The second thing is about how to reorganize the content in your email. So for example, attachments. Attachments are usually putting at the bottom of the email. And but as you think about that, for every email that you receive with attachment, actually the attachment is the most important. So why would that, but why does it make sense to put it at the bottom? Archiving emails is another problem where there are still a lot of people archiving emails, but the problem with archiving emails in the folder is it's, it's only, it's binary. You can only, you can only file an email in one folder, but in fact, emails could be applied to different labels or tags. As a result, what I'm trying to do is I want to build an app and to make which makes email processing easy, simple, and stress-free. And here are the three features that I'm suggesting. Email prioritization, information reorganization, as well as changing behavior time. Prioritization emails, prioritizing emails you care. We start to think about how an inbox <coughs> will look like. So think about your inbox. Every email has the same weight. They have the same height, same size. How could you know that that's more important to you? You can only click into it and know that that is one is important to you. What I'm suggesting is that we will analyze the person as far as the content for you. And when we know that that person or that, that piece of information is more important to you, we will show up the full content in your inbox as well as put in the quick reply for you to quickly reply without getting into the inbox. And how do we do that? So we analyze how you, how you contact your people on the phone. Did you call them? Did you meet up with them? Did you email them often? There's a few, these are just a few of our activities. Reorganizing email contacts. So as I said earlier, there are content emails that are more important than just the text. For example, attachments, links. So we are putting this information content into separate tabs for you to easily access these, these contents when you read them. Changing efficient behaviors. We are, we are using, I, I put, we put a lot of time to try to make email app a very user, user experience, with, with a lot of user experiences designed inside. And like the inbox with all folders is just a text. So like, I don't have too much, uh, enough time to talk all of it, but these are some of the things that we have. So there are 1.1 billion mobile email users now, and it's going to double in four years. So definitely that's a big enough market. I'm trying to do a premium um, business model, which means that I will take a three months free trial. Everyone can take a three months free trial. And afterwards, I will charge a certain amount uh, per month. And if you don't pay, so we reduce the demands without those features. These are the competitive analysis that I have. Um, there are definitely uh, features that